Mawa Moitra, big day for women. Should we be celebrating? Or are you like those who believe that you want to press the pause button because this could be a post-dated check? We don't know when it will be implemented. Do you believe two cheers today and three cheers only when the law actually is implemented? Uh, that's if it's look, uh, I, like I said, that, that Mamta Banerjee and the Trinamool Congress have already implemented this. The question is not of us supporting the bill and us celebrating. I think this is a question you need to ask the ruling party. They are the ones who haven't implemented this. You don't need a law to tell someone to put 33% women in parliament. We've done it without a law. You run the BJP, just do it. You don't need a law to tell you to do the right thing. You just do it. No, no, so one, minute. one minute. One minute, Mawa, Mawa Moitra. The Trinamool had 17 out of the 42 candidates in the Lok Sabha were women, 2019. Yes, yes. well over 33%. Yes. That's almost 41%. Yes. But when it came yes. to the assembly, yes. out of 294, you had about 50 women who were given tickets. Now, that's less than 20%. So, I want to get it very clear. Are you... Yeah. I? Do you believe that the way out should have been tickets for women rather than reservation? Look, no, not at all. We, it's very clear. Why did our founding mothers, 15, there were 15 women in the Constituent Assembly and they all unanimously voted to not have any special reservation for women because they fundamentally believed in, the, in, this, in an India which would award women on merit. Now, unfortunately, 75 years later, we found that that hasn't been the case. Men in India have simply not agreed to give women an equal share of the sky and half the earth as they should. So failing that, when you don't have chief ministers like Mamta Banerjee, when you've obviously got leadership like the BJP that cannot break out of their patriarchal hegemony, in that case, uh, what you need is a law. No, no, one minute, so one minute. Why? No, no, one minute, one minute. No, no, ma'am, let's yeah. be clear. On patriarchal, yeah. the word patriarchy exists across all parties. Yes, the Tinamul Congress, led by a woman, has shown the way. Conceded. Yes. But the truth yes. of the matter, Mawa uh, Moitra, is that almost every party has, over the years, not given enough tickets to women. I think there are, there are two things. Please let me finish. Please let me finish. Don't confuse the issue. There are two issues. One is, do you support women's reservation? That's a stupid question to even ask the Trinamool Congress. But of course we do. We've done it before anywhere else. That's, we, we, we support it. We are living proof that it can be done and you don't need a law to do it. But if, we, if this country needs a law, and it appears that we do need a law after 75 years because other parties still haven't done it, we need a law. But then this is not the law. This is, a, like I said, a reservation rescheduling bill. We, this is dependent on the next, on delimitation, which is dependent on the next census. Mm -hmm. We haven't got the 21 census yet. When is the next census is going to come? After that, you're going to have delimitation. And you've seen what delimitation will throw up. It will increase Kerala by 0%, Tamil Nadu by 26%, Andhra by 30% and it will increase Rajasthan by 100%, uh, UP and MP by 79%, Bihar by close to 90%. 90%. Do you think the southern states are going to accept this lying down? That they have been... So you're saying, you're saying the bill has been uh, pushed forward. Effectively, you're saying it's been implemented. It it's been, it's been passed, but the implementation could take years. That's your concern. Am I correct? Implementation could take absolutely. And the implementation is dependent on delimitation. The current delimitation based on population numbers awards those states that have not been eff effectively be able to check their population right. and disincentivizes those states that have actually done a good job of doing what they should have done. So under the situation, we are sitting on a powder keg. Come delimitation, please watch, mark my words, this is not going to be easy. Delimitation, where the northern states are a sort of, uh, you know, in a disbalanced manner, increase their proportion uh, representation in parliament at the expense of the southern states is not going to be easy to implement. Let me ask you therefore... And delimitation one... is not going to be easy. Okay. And hence to put the... the hold on. And hence to link the women's reservation to delimitation merely means that this is a legally mandated procrastination, a legally mandated delay. Nothing more. If you want to do it, put your money where your mouth is. Do it now based on the voters list. And let me it. ask you, let, let, let me therefore ask you one final question before I go back to my panel because the fact is, Mawa Moitra, do you believe this has therefore been done with 2024 in mind? Narendra Modi ji, Amit Shah ji will go to the people and say, humne mahilao ko arakshan diya, vote for us, women will vote for them. Of, of course, today for the first time I saw the Prime Minister usually comes into the house, speaks and leaves. Today he was sitting there for close to three hours while voting was going on. I think it's the longest he's ever spent in the Lok Sabha. Why was he doing this? Because when he will go out, the media will see him and the media will all say, wow, this Prime Minister to get his women's reservation bill that is so close but to he's his done heart, it. sat in the house. Exactly. But he's so passed it. Women's reservation, he's but passed
past past after it's a jumla what has he passed has he passed a women's reservation bill is it going to be implemented in 24 is it even going to be implemented in 29 okay it's like I... nrc and the caa have they implemented it they got the votes in bengal the hindu votes in bengal based on the caa nrc has to have even the guidance okay let me i i think i get this your point public election jumla for them to go out and thumb their chest okay so this you're saying it's an election you're on paper, so it's you're applauding and supporting the women's reservation bill but you're questioning the manner in which it is being linked to delimitation and therefore saying it's an election jumla okay mawa moitra if you really wanted to do it you could have done it you're not doing it okay thank you very much for joining me i want to go back therefore to for Shwe to shweta shalini because you're getting it from all sides ma'am every speaker on this program from the other parties is raising the question of delimitation if you were serious about women's reservation why link it to an uncertain process like delimitation that could take years it could take a decade before we will have women's reservation why should i then applaud anything that happened today if the prime minister and the home minister were serious they could have said what supriya shinet is saying implement it in 2024 forget obcs but implement it Rajdeep, I can hear you and all the other people on your panel talk uh, the same thing. Like, mandir uh, will be made, but we will not give the date. Nahi there was there was a time that everybody said, "Oh, I can give it to you in writing." The 370 clause mm -hmm. is never going to be abolished. But here, uh, you know, hail today we have uh, mandir date uh, uh, coming by very very close in January. And uh, um, uh, Article 370, which is gone and finished, no, no, you will very soon see no, no, it. Give me a women's reservation date. Will, no, no, give me the date when I can pop the when I can pop the bubbly and celebrate. Uh, uh, home minister, home minister has already given the date. No, he has not given the date. He has said he has said he, he hopes. Has said, he has said that in 2029 we hope to have uh, to see it implemented, and we are very sure that we are going to be getting it implemented. And as far as far as Supriya Ji is concerned, I want to tell her: ये ठगू के लड्डू नहीं हैं, ये शादी के लड्डू हैं। जो खाएगा वो भी पस्ताएगा, तो नहीं खाएगा वो भी पस्ताएगा। And I really want to ask her if she knows who the two people uh, in the parliament are who did not support her. Right. Considering considering that they are also gango about uh, OBC, uh, you know, quota within the quota. Uh, were they these two people from third party who not vote for uh, okay. uh, this bill? Can I please come in? Yeah, I'll give you a final word, Supriya Shinde. Today, you know, I've decided. Can I please you, make a small? The women point? are women are going to take over. We are going to hear more from you. Go ahead. I just have something to say. She talked about Amit Shah ji hopes the bill will be a reality in 2029. I hope that one day, Mr. Modi and your government will stop lying because achhe din, 15 lakh in every account. You know, doubling farmers' income, five trillion dollar economy, uh, a, a roof on every head, the hundred smart cities. These were tall promises that you made. And where are those promises? Is there a timeline? Is there a sunset clause to any of those promises? No. And which is why I say the women's reservation bill is a carrot that they have dangled. A jumla in unhe diya hai desh ki aadi abadi ko. They will wait for another 16 years before it becomes a reality. Too much water had flown under the bridge. This could have been historic. This could have been done. with immediate effect putting caveat and riders has only made half the country's population wait for more time and shame on you for doing that you could have won this historic moment you could have made this a reality for women but you chose why not are you to. so unhappy and that supriya tells you your real intention because why are you, you so unhappy supriya ji today is a day to celebrate you and me so you should you cannot celebrate. do anything for women she wants That's you to celebrate reality. together supriya ji uh, shweta shali singh totally celebrate so but i am just telling you an experience today is a day to celebrate as women we are going to see you in the parliament soon i am your hypocrisy yes. my dear rina rina ramda you want to celebrate account mein okay. 2 crore rozgar so smart city that's what that's what this government is all about jumlas okay rina gupta you want to celebrate today or not Rajdeep I want to celebrate but there is no reason to celebrate it's a clear jumla as we have all been saying like all the other jumlas that they've been throwing at the country uh, nokri rozgar mehngai all of that this is just another jumla and bhartiya janata party is the most anti women party okay. they have brajbhushan sharan singh in their party still 
so one actually does not expect them to do anything for the women of this country but they should not think that we are fools we are not okay. fools we can see Reena through ji, what you, you have know done today what has we have seen okay. what you have done for today you have tried i will go to dolly not in black the statistics i have all over it right from having your maiden okay. name on your passport to actually I mean, running down Rene on fox so low i think i can go unlimited no 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 madam that this was not the purpose you can't match volumes down volumes down the idea today was in a way to reflect on the bill strengths and weaknesses certainly the question mark over delimitation is there will that then lead to this bill simply being kicked forward like a lot of laws in this but dolly i want to give you the final word because it is impressive to have a young woman sarpanch from bihar on my program today what's your message are you happy today or are you also worried ki will you actually get women's reservation in parliament and assemblies Rajdeep certainly I am happy about it because we've been waiting for this for last 27 years at least this government has made it uh, passed in Lok Sabha and hopefully tomorrow in Rajya Sabha which uh, none of the government was able to do so we have to actually applaud this government at least for doing it yes i completely understand that we have to wait for some time and that time is still uncertain but right. yes uh when i when i speak uh, from the uh, from someone who is sitting on uh, in local governance and look forward to growing politics certainly i am very much hopeful about it okay and uh, i, I hope to, to see all four of you in parliament one day supriya <laughs> shiret i'm sure you will be there sooner rather than later reena gupta 15 Gupta. lakh dolly varmas are elected today because rajiv gandhi took the affirmative action on panchayati raj that he did ma'am that is 19 19- lakh dolly varmas and that's what we should be proud about that is what and we need to supriya, work towards and supriya and supriya ji will come reservation to the parliament 2029 okay. because today in the special parliament narendra modi ji passed that shout thank you okay ma'am ma'am that's it